Hi, I'm Miss Paws, and today we are going to talk about pie charts. Pie charts are circular charts that communicate data in a simple and visually appealing way. Pie charts often represent distinct categories of sample data, with the whole circle or pie representing 100% of the data. Just like pies, pie charts are sliced proportionally to the quantity it represents. If you want to create a pie chart, follow these simple steps. Ensure your data is split into distinct categories with associated quantities. Here, I have surveyed my friends and summarized how many of them like each movie genre. Sort the quantities from highest to lowest. That way, when you create the pie chart, the largest slices are placed adjacently. Generally, pie charts work better with fewer categories. Five categories or less is the rule of thumb. So if you have too many categories, you can create a new category named Other to combine the categories with the smallest quantities. Since all these genres appear once in our dataset, I will combine them to create an Other category. Sum up the total number of data points. Here we get 20. Divide the number of data points in each individual category with the sum of data points and multiply by 100 in order to obtain a percentage. 8 over 20 times 100 is 40%. 6 over 20 times 100 is 30 percent, 3 over 20 times 100 is 15 percent, and 3 over 20 times 100 is 15 percent. Finally, calculate the degrees that each slice will occupy. Since a full circle is 360 degrees, we can multiply 360 with each percentage. 40 over 100 times 360 is 144 degrees, 30 over 100 times 360 is 108 degrees, 15 over 100 times 360 is 54 degrees, and 15 over 100 times 360 is 54 degrees. And voila, there you have it, our very own pie chart. The original pie chart was developed by William Playfair in the 1700s as a way of showing the proportion of the Turkish Empire in Europe, Asia, and Africa. In the 300 plus years since, pie charts have also evolved into other charts, such as a donut plot, a kind of pie chart with a blank circle at the center that often labels the type of pie chart, a 3D pie chart, which is harder to read but used for aesthetic purposes, and an exploded pie chart, which is also harder to read, where the pie chart is pulled apart from the center for emphasis. It is important to note that pie charts may not be the right choice for every type of data visualization. For example, they cannot show changes over time. They are often heavily criticized by experts since it is difficult for humans and cats to compare different slices of a pie chart as opposed to, say, different lengths of bars in a bar chart. Despite its shortcomings, the significance of pie charts is undeniable and they continue to be popular, partly because of their visual appeal. Humans love symmetry and curves. We see it everywhere, in both the natural world and man-made culture. They are prevalent in nature, religion, and architecture. Our cognitive bias towards a circle is also believed to be deeply rooted in the evolution of our brain. Our brain feels safer and calmer around circular objects because obviously, sharp things hurt. Anyway, all this talk of pie charts is making me hungry. I think I'm going to go and bake an apple pie. See you soon. Yeah.